The eVital system allows users to electronically submit births and deaths with the City of New York Bureau of Vital Statistics. eVital is a new and improved web-based application that replaced Evers. To claim a new stop case, click the main menu icon. Then select Life Events, select Stop, then select Claim New Case. The Search Stop Case form will open. Enter the mother's current legal last name. Click the calendar icon to enter the date of delivery. Click the lookup button to enter the reporting facility. Enter the facility name and click Search. Then click Select to choose the facility. Click Search. The search results will be displayed. Click on Preview to see the details of the case. Click the X to close the case preview. To proceed with claiming the case, click on Claim Case. A message will appear indicating the $40 disposition permit fee must be paid prior to claiming the decedent. Click OK. On the payment screen, select the payment method from the drop-down list. In this example, payment will be made by credit card. Click Add Payment. Enter the billing address and payment information. Click Continue. Click the Acknowledgement checkbox under Payment Authorization. Then click Pay Now. The payment screen will reopen indicating the payment was approved. Click Continue to Case. eVital will open the case and display the Disposition tab. The green dot on the Fetus tab indicates that section is complete based on information that was previously entered by the medical facility. There are two types of errors in eVital. Hard edits which appear in red and soft edits which appear in orange. Hard edits are errors that must be addressed and corrected or the case cannot be signed. Soft edits are errors that must be addressed or must be overridden in order for the case to be signed. Here's an example of a soft edit. If you get an error message, the system is prompting you to verify whether or not the information is correct. If the information is correct, then you must override the error message. First, check the override box and click Save Overrides. Then click Save. Hard edits are indicated in red and will remain red until the missing or correct data has been entered. Hard edits, unlike soft edits, cannot be overridden. Therefore, correct data must be entered in the field in order to continue with and sign the case. Enter the missing information. In this example, burial has been selected as the method of disposition. Click Place of Disposition Lookup. Enter the facility name and click Search. 
Then select the facility from the search results. Click Save. A green dot on the Disposition tab indicates that all errors have been corrected. If you are authorized to sign the case and there are no errors that need to be corrected, a link to sign the case will now appear in the Fetal Death Registration menu. Click Sign. To sign the case, first read the statement. Then click the Affirm checkbox. This will display the quick response code. Use the Certify app to scan the code within 60 seconds. Once you scan the code, the app will ask you to take one picture of your face. After the picture is taken, a notification will appear on the phone indicating that the certification was successful. Tap OK on the phone screen. On the computer, a green dot with a check mark will appear on the Sign tab indicating the case has been signed. If you need to make any changes, use the Unaffirm button and then re-sign the case after the changes have been made. Let's review the Other Links section of the menu. Click on Order Certified Copies. The order list will display the disposition permit order. Clicking on the order number link will display the order details. Click on Case Messages to see any messages related to the case. Click on Print Forms. Click on Stop Certificate Work Copy to view the certificate. You can print the work copy by clicking on the printer icon. Click the X to close the certificate window. Clicking on Case Status History will allow you to view the case history. This includes dates, the status name, as well as user and facility information. Click on Registration Validations to see any validation errors or overrides in the case. Click on any of the green buttons to go to the page where the validation error or override occurred. Click on Event Issuance History. Here you can view the details of the issuance history for a disposition permit. Click on Relinquish Case. To relinquish the case, enter a relinquish reason then click Relinquish. If the case has a registered status, you will be prompted to send the relinquishment request to a specific facility. Click on Comments. To enter a new comment, select the comment type from the drop-down menu. Then, enter the comment in the Comment field and click Save Comment. The saved comment will be displayed at the bottom of the comments window. Click on the Edit or Delete icons to make any necessary changes. A green check mark will appear on the menu indicating there are comments related to the case. This concludes eVital Spontaneous Termination of Pregnancy Training.